Hi guys, this is Isa from PrintStick in another video and this time I will teach you how to set up your student digital planner in GoodNotes. So this video will actually be divided in two parts. The first part, I will talk about how to download the files after making your purchase and adding those into GoodNotes. And the second part, I will actually go through the pages of the planner and teach you how to add widgets and stickers. And I will even decorate one or two pages for you to see how I do it. So if you just want to see how I decorate my planner, feel free to skip to the next video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is after you make your purchase, you will open your Safari browser directly on your iPad. It's important that you use the Safari browser and not the Etsy app because for some reason the links do not work when using the app so make sure you're logged into your Etsy account on Safari then you will click where it says you and you have your profile photo click there then go to where it says purchases and reviews and then here you will see all of the purchases that you have made in the past so locate your Princeton order and then click where it says download files this will open this order which will show you which files are actually included in the download so in this particular occasion i have two files one comes in goodnotes format and the other one comes in note which is notability format so basically you would click a download on the file that you want to download i will click on the first link and once you get to this page where if you see at the top bar here it says gogetsy.com that's where you see a preview of the file since this comes in .goodnotes.zip format you are not able to preview the file if this was a pdf then you would be able to see the whole planner or the whole notebook in this page so once you're here just tap on this icon on the top right corner the first icon here which is like a box with an arrow pointing up that's the export button so tap there and then scroll until you find the app that you want to use in this case i want to use good notes so i will tap on copy to good notes then here just select your category where you want to insert this new file and i have this one labeled student so i'm going to tap there and then my new journal is loaded right here remember if you want to make the tabs work just make sure that this no pen icon is selected in blue so tap there and then you will be able to click on all of the links now that's just how to import but i will actually show you the files that are included with the student bundle now if you're using good notes for your planner then you only need the files that are included in this etsy download however if you're using notability or any other app that is not good notes you need the pdf and the png versions of all of the stickers and the widgets but here these are all set up for good notes so if you're using good notes this is all you need for example i will show you i'm going to load my student sticker book so i'm going to click on this third link and the process is exactly the same as I showed you before. Once you get to this Go Get to side, just tap on your export icon and click on Copy to Good Notes. Create new document and again pick your category. So I have my students category set up here. And then you would repeat with all of your items. I'm actually going to delete this one. It was just an example. And then just repeat the process with all of the files included in the download. Now a couple of things I want to mention. The font included here, it comes saved in a zip file. And actually you have to unzip that file in order to be able to install them onto your iPad. I do have another video showing you how to install fonts, so I'm gonna link that down below you can check it out i'm not gonna go through that right now but i do want to mention that please download this guide right here you can actually also export it into goodnotes since it's a pdf and just keep it right here in your same category as reference this guide is a great tool to navigate your new planner it says exactly what's included how the links and the tabs work for example i'm going to open right here you can see that the spiral has some links this side of the planner has some links and if you didn't get to see this guide you might miss out on some of these options so just make sure to check it out this is also an interactive guide so if you tap on the home button you will go back to the main screen and if you tap on these little arrows you will go to each of the sections then on this section over here these are the instructions that you need to follow in order to download the files that you need to use in notability or any other app that is not good notes so just know that if you're not a good notes user you need to download the files following the instructions provided on this section so now I have all the files that I need, which is my sticker book, my planner, and the widget library. All right, guys, so that was it for this video. I hope that these instructions help you make your download process a little easier. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to watch my next video where I will teach you how I decorate my pages of this planner. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.